Okay, so I made a video earlier about Joe Rogan talking about Donald Trump not going to the bathroom for three hours. Maybe he has a catheter. Maybe he's wearing a diaper. Podcast is three hours long. The guy didn't pee before the podcast. He didn't pee after the podcast. He's got maybe he had a just little uh, left. catheter. Maybe, maybe and he's he wearing a diaper. Coke. And then people came out saying, oh, there's that Fox and Friends where he came out and they, and they had a black towel out for him. Then PolitiFact got in. Oh, it's false. He wasn't sitting on a black towel. He had his jacket laid out sideways and he was sitting on that. I don't give an F what he was sitting on. He wasn't sitting on a white goddamn couch. Friggin' Donald Trump's about to pull a Rick James up in that Betty Murphy. Yo, couch! Yo, couch! Who sits on their suit jacket? He was wearing a suit jacket. What, did he bring another suit jacket? Where did this suit jacket come from? Why did he have two suit jackets? So I'm going to tie some things into one for you. He's been missing a bunch of left-leaning interviews on left-leaning networks and then calling Kamala Harris, oh, she's going to be comatose if she goes on Joe Rogan. She can't handle three hours of Rogan. And then he goes on and does his weave, which what a doctor would call dementia. And here's Kamala Harris putting on her health records like every other president before her for the last 40 freaking years, except for one, Donald Trump. And why doesn't Donald Trump want to put on his health records? He's not diaper Don, he's not dementia Don, he's honest Don, right? I mean, prove us wrong. And he doesn't want to do any left-leaning networks a week before the election because he knows <laughs> leaking out of him is a really bad look. That's what we would call an October surprise, you know, like a friggin' surprise. Just a mess of a surprise. Just like he would make a mess of America. Just like Bob Woodward said, 100% organizational collapse. The country better count to 10 before they think about putting Trump back in power. It would, uh, it, it, it's, it's not political, it's not personal, it's organizational collapse. He will make a mess of America just like he makes a mess of the goddamn couch. And then we also know from a few sources like Adam Kinzinger that the guy smells like a goddamn outhouse. What did it smell like specifically? <laughs> so if you take like armpits, uh -huh. ketchup, makeup, and a little butt, it's probably like that all mixed up. And that's, just, the, yeah. that's the Trump formula? A little bit of a pungent odor, I would say, yeah. Uh, I, you definitely wouldn't want to bottle it up and wear Trump cologne. <laughs> then we got the pictures of him all the time, standing like a rooster at attention. Who stands like that unless you're wearing a diapy or a freaking colostomy bag? Or both? Who lays out jackets on white couches unless you're gonna leak into them? Who won't release their health records unless you're afraid what people will see? Who keeps canceling on networks that they're afraid what people will say? None of these answers are Kamala Harris.